So first, as an author, I was obviously very happy because uh, uh, that is now uh, my 12th paper uh, with Pierre J. I, I really like, uh, so I, I like in general the idea of impact neutral publishing uh, because I think this sort of judgment of impact really gets in the way of the publishing uh, process. I guess my, my sort of biggest takeaway message uh, or, or experience is that when I no, I'm writing for an impact neutral journal. Uh, the writing is much easier because you just simply present what you did in an honest way and you don't have to, you know, do all this sort of uh, clever wordsmithing, uh, you know, to try to sort of hype up the impact as much as possible. Uh, and it actually occurred to me or that uh, a lot of sort of the time I spent on paper writing was, was actually spent on that part and not so much on the, let's say, the, the spent on the impact part, not so much on the science reporting uh, part. So that's, that's one. The other thing uh, with the impact neutrality is that, that basically I, I can also uh, write a paper and get a paper published with negative results. Uh, and so that's made me a little more sort of uh, willing to take risks in my research and that has been very good actually. So I've, I've definitely embarked on a few things uh, that I, that were interesting, but risky because I knew I could get them published in a peer reviewed journal uh, like PeerJ. The open peer review. So, so I can, as an author, I can decide to have the reviews published. And I really think that should be done in, um, for all, for all articles really, because it, it, it does two things really. So one is sort of, um, it makes science more open, which is just a good thing. Uh, it, and, and it's very interesting to read um, what other reviewers have said uh, about a paper. So it adds sort of a whole dimension, a new dimension to the, the reading experience. And also in my opinion, the uh, reviews are a little bit, uh, let's say objective as opposed to subjective, because I, I think many of the people who write these reviews realize that they, even though they might be anonymous, they are gonna appear sort of publicly alongside the journal. So I, I think the, uh, the reviews have been a little more civil and, uh, and a little more constructive. I've been pretty happy with the reviews I've gotten. Um, and I've also been pretty happy with sort of the, the support that Peer J gives in, in, in the review process. So I just, I mean, it, it's set up the, to be pretty automated and I think it works really well. Uh, I also, this is my first sort of editorship. Uh, and so it had a really, Peer J made a very nice sort of cheat sheet uh, of editorial practices, which was really useful. Um, I guess one thing I forgot to mention a uh, highlight is, is this uh, membership model that Peer J has, which I really like. I, I tend to publish uh, most of my papers are with relatively few co-authors and the same co-authors. Uh, and there the membership model has, it, it's really a, a very inexpensive way to, to publish open access. And my sort of motto is, is, is you sort of, um, you lead by example. So, I mean, if you, I recommend the journal by publishing in it, uh, right? I think that's the biggest endorsement. Just keep watching uh, PeerJ Physical Chemistry and uh, you'll, you'll see it pop up.